Hello, this is Martin. In this demonstration I will show you how room rates are calculated. Let's go back to configuration and select room rates. Now, just to make it simple, I will select a one bedroom unit here. You will note that the single rate is $85, a double occupancy is $90, an extra child is $10 and an extra adult is $15. So what happened? If the room has one occupancy, one person, the room rate is based on a single rate, $85. If there are two persons occupying the room, regardless whether it is an adult, one adult and one child, it will be considered as a double, so it becomes $90. Two persons, or three persons, of which one is a child, it's really considered as one adult plus one child. Now, three adults would really be considered as a double, two person plus one adult, so it becomes $105. Now, you also have a per person rate, but this is only for group reservations only. So let's go back to and create a reservation. So cre let's create a new reservation for one bedroom unit. Find a guest, and you will note a default is two adults. If I would change this to one adult, the single room rate will be selected. If I change this to two adults, the double rate will be selected. Now, if I take this two adults and one child, then it's the double rate plus a child is added. If I would make this three adults, it really takes the rate of a double room rate plus an adult, so $105. And so you can change this and the program will calculate your room rate automatically for you. Now, now let's go into tariff code for a moment. Okay, so we save this reservation, go back to configuration and select tariff code because this is part and partial of your room rate um, calculation. You have the standard um, tariff code which has no deduction and no additions to it. Now you can make um, a 10% discount or you can insert and say okay make a 20% discount Okay, and because it's a deduction and it's 20%, make sure this is set on percent. Now, deductions could either be um, a percentage or a dollar amount. So if you add a dollar figure here, the deduction is $20 off your um, amount. But for this demonstration, let's take 20%. You can select the date. now. The date will only provide you with a reminder that the tariff code selected is actually outside a date range, just in case. But okay, say we set this and exit. Now let's go back to the same reservation and let's select a different tariff code. So let's select a 10% discount. Select this you will note that the tariff room rate is deducted by 10%. Go back to your standard room rate. Let's go back to $120 in this case. Select the 20% tariff code. Your room rate is deducted by um, 20%. Now the tariff code, you can actually set this as a default. Okay, In configuration under preference, you can set the default tariff code. So just say if it is winter time and you really reduce all your room rates by say 10%, you can select that as your default tariff code, save and exit. Now if you create a new reservation now, you will note that the default tariff code is applied straight away. The default tariff code can also be adjusted on a room by room basis. So let's re put this back to standard. And let's go back to the room rates and say that you only apply, um, say, the tariff code, the default tariff code, edit this, 
to room number one. So here you would like to, uh, because it's probably okay, a lesser quality room, you apply a 10% discount on this particular room. Save and exit. Now you will note if I create a new reservation on here, 10% is being selected as the default tariff code. While if I take the same studio room, the standard room rate is the standard tariff code is used. This is how room rates are calculated. Now there is okay, let me show you before I go back there, let me show you the per person rate. Now you can highlight a reservation here and make a group reservation. It's based on two rooms, $80 a night. However, if I click the apply per person rate, $40 is counted. So depending on the number of rooms you have here, but just say, okay, you have six person in this room and it's for one night only. So let's change this to one night only. 25, 26, select this and let's create a guest code for a moment. So create a new, yeah. So that is six persons at $40 a night at a standard rate, save this. Now if you create, generate an invoice, you will note that the tariff is calculated based on six persons, so six times 40, $240. This is how the per person rate is calculated. Now let's select something else. Go back to configuration. There's also a package um, rate. A package rate is really okay where you have like a deal going on. It could be a three night special at $70 a night. So this is really your three night, three night special. You could also add um, add products to it so you can say okay well um, it comes included with well with free milk or a free chocolate bar or whatever so you can actually add products to it so let's say okay um, a free bottle of coke and there's the extra night cost the extra night cost is the cost which will be charged if a person decided to stay more than three nights so you can say extra cost at $75. Save this. Now what happens if I make a reservation here for four nights and select the package rate. You will note that the package rate is calculated based on the four nights rather than the special night. Okay, which in this particular case comes down to $71.25 per night. Save this. Okay, you do require a guest code. So select the guest, save this. Now if I generate an invoice, you will note that let us say the first night is, or the first part was a uh, three night special at 208 plus the bottle of coke, which is deducted and then the extra net is calculated at $75.